In this tutorial, we will start to get familiar with the subdivision and mesh editing tools. As we have seen in our introduction video, the workflow of Evoluta tools involves building up a coarse mesh. And we normally do that with mesh primitives like 3D face. So let's start to get acquainted with the subdivision process. I will start by creating a quad face with 3D face. And now this is ready for subdivision. The main subdivision command is called ET subdivide. You just have to select your mesh. As you can see here, we have a bunch of algorithms and you can read all about them in the documentation. A classic algorithm for subdividing quad faces is Catmull Clark. This is the result. Let's do one more step. If you want to subdivide an existing object, you just have to select its coarser parent and hit subdivide again. Now let's try something else. This subdivision algorithm is called Diagonalize and it will change the connectivity of the mesh. You can see that every time we subdivide a new object, the plugin will create a child object. And all these objects will be logically connected via subdivision algorithms. That means that if we want to modify an object by dragging its vertices, the change will propagate to all its children. We call this multi-scale mesh modeling because you can edit the meshes at different scales. You can notice that the changes propagate from the parents to the child objects, but not the other way around. Let's try some local subdivision. In case you're happy with your mesh, but you just want it to be a bit denser in a certain area, you can do some local subdivision. So let's try loop cut. We just pick an edge. And the command will create new edges normal to the edge we just picked. You can see that the change propagates to the child objects. Let's do another loop cut at a different level. And we can try to add some diagonal lines. And again, these changes only propagate to the child objects. Let's try to work on some triangles. A comparable subdivision algorithm for triangles, just like Catmull Clark for quads, it's called loop. And this is the result. Not quite what you expected? Well, this is because the subdivision algorithm will try to smoothen the mesh. Let's try one more step. As you can see, it's even smoother. We can try another subdivision algorithm. This one is called square root. And it changes the mesh in a different way. Again, mesh editing works here too. You can drag vertices and the changes will propagate to the child objects. Now, all these objects are dependent upon each other now, but if you get lost and don't know which one depends on which one, 
we have the option of identifying the dependencies. So you just hit the button and the plugin will display a numbered color dot so you can easily identify the dependencies. If you want to decouple an object from its parent, you just have to select it and just hit the decouple subdivision button. If we check the dependencies again, you will notice that it's been decoupled from its parent. Now, since our triangle is free, we can start a new subdivision branch for it. But this time, we will fix its corners, so the subdivision algorithm will not try to smoothen it again. We just select the vertices we want to have them fixed. And now we can subdivide again. The result is pretty different and this time the subdivision algorithm did not try to smoothen the mesh around those corners. We can do another step. Now an interesting thing to note is that if you flag some corners as uh, fixed, you will see that that property will be inherited by the child objects. So if we want to check which vertices are set as fixed, you will see that these are selected too, because this property was inherited from the parent. Again, mesh editing works here too. We can drag vertices and the change will propagate to the child objects. We can identify the dependencies again and you can see the numbered color dots. Let's try some mesh editing tools. An interesting thing to note is that when you use native Rhino mesh editing tools on these objects, it will make them lose flags like corners and... So it's recommended that you use the mesh editing tools within our plugin. So for example, we can delete an edge. Or we can delete a whole face. We can delete a vertex or a whole polyline. Okay, so this will be all for the subdivision tutorial. You can download the trial version and just try it for yourself. Thanks for watching.